So in the kata we have the kick, right? Turning for shutuka. 180 degree turn. That has to mean something. It is not, you know, that I'm kicking that direction, locking smoothly in the other direction. None of that nonsense, of course, right? No. We want to use this as a throw, okay? So Roy is punching me. Bam, I'm here. Entering 3D again, okay? This is disturbing. Yes. <laughs> Kick, take the head, and go down. Right? So we can consider a few things here. Punch me down half. Here. Kick. Catch. Boom. Boom. Right? It's the classic head twist turn. Signature Ikesaki cat. We do it all the time. Boom. And to Boom. Take the head, right? Sink down from the center of my body. Boom. You can add a, a lots of stuff here to make it more violent. You want that, don't you? Boom, okay? Catch it. Bounce it in, right? And then you go. All right. Okay. Elbow. Good. So, in that sense, we're applying the kata. We don't, we don't run off now. We kick him. Okay, then we can run off. You can always run, run away. That's a very good philosophy. You can always run away from all your problems as soon as you have laid them flat on the ground, okay? Could we agree upon that one? <laughs> because you can't run fast always. It can be dangerous to turn your back to someone. Because if he's, if he's here and, that, and he's going to attack me and I'm going to start turning, I might as well end up stabbed, injured, whatever. So, the philosophy should be, put him on the ground first and run away, okay? have the head. It's about a tenth of the body weight, all right? En tiondel av kroppsvikten i huvudet. Det betyder att nio tiondelar, nine tenths of the body, will be hanging in the neck as we do this. That's one reason why this is a serious thing. The neck can take this. Not too bad. Okay. It can do this. It's all right. But if you combine the two, that and that, into this, things happen. Interesting things happen. You all right? Okay, good. That was very smooth. <laughs> so we want to do this. We want to do this. We want to apply this very interesting yeah. anatomical knowledge. Kick him to take the balance. What I want to do is to bring is it cheek or is it chin? Chin. 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 I always mix those up. I want to bring the chin up because the body will follow the chin. Then here. Okay. We, 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 have, we have vertical, we have horizontal and we go diagonal. Extra thing, sink into the body always, into the feet, right? And try to do this from the body. There is tremendous difference in what you get from it. Instead of just doing this, my arms working, okay, that would do it. But if I can sink in and do this from the body, boom, it would be very, very strong. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, oh, 
we have had these multiple questions about where to put our feet and problem with the knee when we do the throwing and also which sort of posture to take and I'm kicking here if I put my feet here behind him when I do the throw he will lay on my knee that could be a good thing if you want that I would prefer not to have that if I am to do something not so kind I would rather have my foot there okay and use this knee instead steer him boom he's landing on that one and then he gets down take up again so we get in the right angle if I come around go ahead boom I put it there bam bam boom that's an injury he might not rise up again from. What's important is that we never do this. When we are working something lower, we don't stand like this. With bad posture. Right? Because we are totally weak and vulnerable. And if, if he pulls a little in my arm or whatever. And Christian is by far the better wrestler. So I don't want to be there at all. Okay? Thank you.